How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. I have here today the Hobart. Uh, it's a 115 volt plasma cutter. And it does work really well. But I noticed, um, uh, well even you guys have noticed, I haven't been using it that much. And I think what happened was, I think I was getting too close on the tip because I had this wire thing off and I think I burnt the tip up on it. So I bought some tips and today I'm going to be changing the tips out on this thing. And giving it a try and see if it's going to work any better. Um, I picked these tips up at uh, Tractor Supply. And, um, you know, I don't know if there's different. It says Hobart on them, so hopefully I'm okay with them. Now, I'm going to show you guys. Um, there's different sizes on these tips. And if, you, if you're new to it like me, I'm going to show you how I got my size. And this is one thing we don't want to forget because we always want to get the tips for it. Now on the top of my machine, it's got the whole teardown of the tip. And this is the number that I needed right here, this 770496. So what I did is I went in there and I matched up them numbers uh, with that number, 770. 496 and this gives me two pieces which I'm not sure what the names of these guys are but we're gonna be replacing these two pieces right here and this gave me like I got two there's two sets in there so if I plug it in, uh, plug it up again I'll have an extra set uh, to put in there so that's the um, pieces that I think I need to make this machine cut better um, the last time I tried it, I actually tried it on the homemade sander, this 2 by 72 inch sander that I was building, and uh, it wouldn't cut the quarter inch. So I suppose that'll be our test. We'll take a piece of quarter inch and see if we can hack it off with it. So let's get to tearing this thing apart and getting it put in. Okay, I take it that there's not a whole lot to this thing. So we're going to pull this little guy off, and this is probably what I should have had on there. And then, just going to unscrew that. Now well, we got a few pieces in there. Now this thing here is what I think I want to take off. And then here's your other tip. This tip here, and you could see, I don't know if you could see it or not, that one there, it just looks plugged clear up. So, we're going to, let me get a little wrench here and see if we can get this thing tore apart. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy off here. I got a 6 millimeter wrench there, it seems to pull it off pretty good. See, I can't tell if it's dirty or, I don't know, I just don't know much about them. Because this in here don't look any different, but we're just going to put it on here and see what happens. That one does look like it's got some dirt on the tip, so. So we're going to screw this one back down on there. Give it a little snug. Not much, just enough to hold it on there. And then this piece. Drop it down in there, or we could put it on there first, huh? We'll just set it down on here, and we'll get this guy put on. So there's really not much of anything to this, just putting those two little pieces in. But I did have a lot of problems with it cutting, it just wouldn't cut. And like I said, I had this tip off, and maybe I was touching the tip of it and getting it dirty. I don't know if you guys can see oh, that one there. That one kind of looks dirty to me. I mean, but the other one, you know, you can't see through it, even the new one. But this one here don't look too bad. You can still see through it. But this one here looks bad. So, anyhow, we're going to give this thing a shot and see if we can get it to cut a piece of quarter inch steel. Alright, we got a piece of quarter inch steel on here. 
and I know that's probably three eighths on that too. But we're going to try to cut this quarter inch steel first. We'll just try to make a slice across it, and then uh, we'll see if it does any better. Okay, as you can see, it cut it pretty good there. And I don't know if I'm running it fast enough, but it's kind of hard with your gloves on to keep it going. You can see where I started there and I couldn't keep the, the trigger on. So I did it without gloves, which probably is not safe. I'm not sure if I should be going faster or slower, but you know, this is the first time I ever really, I mean, I've had this plasma cutter for a while, but I really never work it uh, too much, I mean. So, I'm in the learning process just like the rest of you. I'm going to see if it'll cut that 3 8 down. Well, I guess it will. So, the tip is working better now. I should be able to use it on more projects in the garage and uh, hopefully it'll work out. Well, as you can see, it cut a lot better there with that new tip in there and it will cut quarter inch steel. I'm not thinking that I would really want it for quarter inch steel as much. I mean, it is a small uh, machine. Small projects it's probably really good for, but anything you got really big and massive, I don't think I go with a machine like this, I go a little bigger. But I do kind of swear by the Hobart name, and the reason why is one of my friends owned a Hobart, and uh, it was probably, well, put to you this way. We know the warranty was done on it, and we called him. It was a welder, and he said uh, something happened to the motherboard in it, and... Hobart sent him a brand new motherboard free. All he had to do was put it in. So I think Hobart stands behind their name. So that's why I kind of like the Hobart. Now the tips that I picked up, I got them at Tractor Supply and I think I paid $18, 17 something for two tips. Now if you get the chance, and I'll tell you, I'm not, I don't have anything against Tractor Supply, but um, if you go to your local bottle gas, uh, where they sell bottle gas, if they sell these machines, now you can get these cheaper than that. I think you can get probably f either five or six of them for like 30 bucks, and that's sets of them. So, uh, local bottle gas place might be a better place for you to pick up your stuff for like this, because it is cheaper. And that's the same way that goes with the wire and stuff like that you're buying. Uh, if you go to some of them other stores that just they sell like tractor supply I'll say that for instance I'm not saying just because of them but some of them are a little higher priced on their wire but if you could go to your ball gas place that's what they sell they get more quantity of it so they can sell it a little cheaper so that's what I do most of the time now I had actually got the guy down at the ball gas place to order me some of these because I have a couple projects coming up I need this machine and uh, it's been over a week I've been waiting for them and I really need them so I'll still buy the ones he's got and I'll have these for extra. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you like. Till next time.